Of course, that's her. Miss Alpha. I'm fine, thank you. I'm supposed to say you? good morning. <laughs> Your name is Thelma. Confirm is, is that true? Yes, miss. I'm Thelma Corte. Thelma Corte. Guidance Thelma Corte. Ready for. Are you ready for a handman? Of course. This girl, a handman came to your school yesterday. They came to eat and they did all the things they could do. Yeah. It's your turn now. Yes. What are your expectations? Honestly, my, my expectations are to have a feel of their teaching and learning culture. But most importantly, I would want to like have a taste of their food like because it's, you know how my people they brag about your food yeah, a lot I've you heard, people I've today heard. you smell perfect yes, i'm coming for you guys <laughs> and of course you know the head girl pamela pamela what do you have to say to her summer when you get there learn as much as you can have fun and show them why we are called ladies of substance it's for her right it's amazing thank you you're a good girl okay. don't feel that <laughs> don't worry <laughs> You were saying something. Yeah, I said she should have fun, learn as much as she can, and make sure that she shows them why we are called the ladies of substance. Amazing. Amazing. Thelma, are you ready for for a hands? Yes, please. I'm very ready. <laughs> Good morning. Finally, you are here. We have been anticipating your presence since we were told wow. you were coming. Yes. All right. So How was your journey here? It was quite interesting. I, I see. I guess. Like, I, I like the trees and everything. So, okay. Yeah. So, as custom demands in this school, okay. you must be initiated as a royal lady. Oh, okay. Yes. And the initiation right will go on in the headmistress's office. So we'll take you there to meet her. Eh? Can you take me to her? Well, yeah. so if she becomes a royal lady, it means she's no more, no longer a precarian or no. what? No. <laughs> if, if, if she's to write Wasi today and graduate today, she's going to be called Anna Hussein, not, uh, not an absent. Uh, oh, uh, are you? Oh. Hey. I mean, you just want to take my school down. I'm not taking your school down, but if you write, if you are to write Wasi here, graduate here, yeah, you are Anna Hussein. You who oh. are you? Yeah. HRM Sheridan, someone. I'm with to... HRM. Oh. Yes. I thought you were talking like that. <laughs> I must say, I'm very honored to have you welcome me. Thank you. Okay. And these are my deputies um, HRH Eresi Adubari and HRH Daniela Asari. Okay. So, all of you had your head girls? Yes, deputy head girls. Third oh. deputy, second deputy, um, first deputy, sorry. The second deputy is on hibernation. <laughs> You'll see her later. <laughs> okay, Just relax. Sure. And anticipate. Don't worry. Anticipate. Don't worry. So uh, my time here is done. I'll see you after four. And have a nice day. Thank you. All right, let's go. All right. Can we help you with your Oh, things? no, I'm fine. Yes. So I'm going you are the first head girl. Yes, I'm the head girl. We call it the, just the head girl. Why do you have so many just preference for just head girl? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Let's tell my presume. Oh, okay. You are warmly welcome to a handsome girls. Is that your first time? Yes, please. Very first time. Oh, yes, I see. Please. Wow. <laughs> Then you are very well, doubly welcome. Thank you, Mom. Yeah. I think yesterday you met one of our girls. Yes, Mom. I saw um, you. Vanessa. Yes. You saw her around. Yes. Okay, so today is your turn. And uh, we are also privileged to receive you here. And uh, this is our school. You say the school on the hill of light. I'm sure when you came, you saw a lot of white and black. Yes, uh -huh. I was wondering. Exactly. Well, that, these are colors, so you can see our uniform. Wonderful yes. colors. And so, um, when you see the black and white, they are welcoming you. They are like keys, black and white keys. <laughs> so that's our way of welcoming our visitors. 
So tell me you're welcome. Thank you. And um, I hope Potter girls are all fine. Yes, please. Good. And um, sure, looking out to see how you'll be faring today. Yes, that's I hope thank you, you so have much. a good time. Exactly. Have a good time. Um, and study, above all, that's the most important thing. Yes, please. So I want to see what different they are going to study today. Yes, mommy. Um, from English to biology, physics, chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this time it's not like before when um, schools were autonomous in their corner, you know, just dealing with their own things. This time we want to learn best practices because at the end of the day is Ghana. We all want to win together. Okay. So tell me, you're welcome. You Thank meet you. assistant head, academic, domestic. Administration is not around, yes. but you'll see him in the course of the day. Yes, please. You're welcome. Thank you. Everything will be here today in a new environment. Honestly, the atmosphere, the atmosphere is actually, I don't know, serene. Okay. Peaceful. So I hope you enjoy your stay. Obviously. I'm it's very nice. fun, so I hope you also enjoy your time with yeah. me. Sure. Are you a science student? Yeah, so we'll, let's wait a while. As you let's go. We'll okay. join the headmistress upstairs. Let's okay. use this so place. Would you have to go show me the place around? You want to see something yeah. small? I saw this side. I was wondering what that is. Uh, I mean, there are chairs and tables there. Oh, that's our dining hall annex. Your dining hall. And next. And next. Yes, yeah, so we sometimes hold some programs, the student programs, but if the dining hall is filled up to the brim, we use that place. Oh, sometimes. But How many are you in the school? Like roughly? Probably 2,000 plus. I don't really know that. I can't really tell you the figures because. So all of you go at once? Yes. Like both. Form two is in form one. Do you see it? I, I just want you to wait to okay. see. So as you can see, the tables and chairs there. Some people prep here in the mornings. Teachers have classes here. We used to have a summer hut there. So that will be our new um, dining hall. We're there. Yes. The government is still on it. And we trust and believe and hope that the government will complete it. I as see. they have always been doing. Okay. Yes. So we'll hold on, on with a tour, okay? After assembly and probably during break, if I have to, the time, you can come to me. You are going to come to me. Yeah, I would have to leave for your class. Yes. What's your class? Look for it. It's a secret. Oh, okay. So you find my class, you come to me, and I'm going to show you around. Sheridan. Oh, Sheridan. Sheridan. Only okay. I want to HRM. Okay. Yes. Join them. I don't know. We have um, lines for science students, general arts students. I don't know. Yes, you can join the line. We are here. That's where the perfect stand during assembly. Oh, hello. I'm Thelma. Because I heard you stand up for into classes. So, can you kindly show me where the science class is? Um, the science class is up there. No, I mean, you stand according to classes, um, so I would want to know where you stand. Like, I'm a science student, so I want to know where I would stand. Um, please, I actually don't know, unless you ask one from two. You're from one student? Yes, please. But don't you also stand in, like, according to classes? Yes, please. So, all these are from two? Yes, please. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. Are you a science student? Okay. So why am I meeting a lot of people? Okay, I really need to get to a line where there are science students. There. Please be on this side. This one. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Can I ask why the students are sitting in there when it's assembly? Okay, actually some of them are not feeling well. The infirmary is not open. And then don't you think they should come here and join? Because it's, mm -hmm. it's an assembly. Yes, they have to, but I don't even know why they are angry. I think they are not well. Mm. I shall not want to make it lie down in green pastures. The HOVs of the various departments will help select three students from this all important place. 
it. We are preparing ourselves for November, the school debate. That is always organized towards the independence celebration. Hold up stage. She's with us. So now she's Princess Thelma from Archbishop Portugal. <laughs> And today, her the arrangement, she's supposed to be with us. Princess Thelma, you meet princesses, you meet maidens, they are supposed to graduate to queens, they have not yet graduated. Yes, so they are still, yes, very soon they are going to do the ranking, then they move according to performance. They are already away, so some of them will be will remain princesses. And these ones will move to princesses, but some of them will remain maidens. That is if they don't behave well. So you meet your sisters, maidens and princesses. She's Thelma for much with your Porter girls. She's a science student doing pure science. So today she's here to explore the school on the hill of light. Their school is a school on the hill of tranquility. And so Tranquility and light have met this morning to do some kind of exploration. She's going to go around, interact, basically also study, enjoy our studies here, enjoy the um, teaching, interaction from you people, the way you do your things, and she also tell the way she does her things. That is from where she's coming. And therefore, my girls, you meet Princess. Now she's with us. When she goes, she will still be called Princess. So you meet Princess Thelma. I'll give her the microphone. Good morning, heads of the school. Good morning, my fellow sisters. I'm very sorry for not actually saying princesses and maidens because I'm from a Catholic school. Oh. But today, I'm here as the princess because that is your culture and I'm here to adapt to it. Today is an exchange program. Your fellow princess Vanessa came to my school yesterday and today I'm here in your school. Kindly cooperate with me and then after everything, everything will be fine. And please, I need friendly people. Please don't be rude, I'm just a nice person. I'm just here to have I'm just here to have something with you. As your Henry said, I'm here to learn and to actually make friends. So thank you for your invite and thank you for your warm welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Aisha. Aisha. HRM um, is here. I'm sure she'd like to. Say something. Okay, so. Good morning, head mistress. Good morning, assistant head teachers. Good morning, teachers around HRH, HRL. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. We are very privileged today to have a Potterian who is now a royal lady today with us. Um, I want to say we should cooperate with her. Let's be very friendly with her as we have always been. I'm not begging you to be friendly. I know we are all friendly. So let's just cooperate with her and have a wonderful day with her. Walk to her, ask her questions. She's here for you. She's here for us. Thank you. Hello. I know my class. Can you kindly show me my class? Okay. Actually, I think you'll be in yeah, science there, so you might be in science two. Uh, science one. Yes, one. Yes. Where do we pass? So please, we have to wait so the head to come down then. Okay. So right now, if you're going to class, yeah. what time do you go for dining? Okay, 9 o'clock. Fine. How yes, many subjects do you have before dining? Okay, one. One? Yes, please. How many hours? How many minutes? One hour. One hour. Yes, please. I see. So please, you take this part. Oh, thank you. Yes. I think the second class. Yes, please. The second class. Yes, Good morning, class. 
I already introduced myself, but then today I'll be studying with you guys. I hope you're all friendly. Yes. All right. So, please, please, please. Thank you so much. Princess Thelma, nice meeting you. Thank you. My okay, pleasure. Please. I'm the class pet. I have to be in Kodichia, so I have to leave to my class. All right. I'll see you later. You. During Snack. break. Yes. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so I'm here in the class. I really like how spatial it is and then friendly atmosphere. So let's get to how the lessons are going to be. Because I had we go for dining at night. So you have an hour before dining. So let's see how it goes. Of course we have um, we have biology lab, physics and chemistry. I don't have integrated science lab. No. no. But you mostly go to let's say Oh, I had your friends. How many are you guys? We are first three. Are all the teachers males or females? Oh, no, same females. Oh, what's she doing? Um, she's giving updates. You see, um, sometimes as students, we need to encourage ourselves. So she's writing things so that she like someone. like quotes. Yeah. Your class isn't mixed. Like some people, do you have courses? Because I know our school, you either choose biology or um French or geography. No, we have three elective geography, biology, and elective ICT. But when you go to the science class, we have science one, two, three, and four. In science three, um, it's a combined class. Some of them are doing geography, some two are doing elective ICT. So, in case it's time for them to do either elective or geography, let's pass him. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're passing here, here? No, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so when it's time for elective IT, they just move to the ICT lab for oh. the geography student. Hey, sorry, geography teacher to pop. Oh. What's this? It's a pamphlet. We are going to do revision on the light energy that we just did. So we are just going with our exercise. Then so where is it? Do we pass no, it we are passing it. You see, in our school, let's say we just competed with the light energy. So. Oh. Our teacher is going to give us some exercises for us to do so that he will make sure that whatever he has taught us, we have been able to recall everything, then oh. learn them more. So something like a test? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay, we just started. <laughs> so I would have to sit and watch, I will have to partake in the test. Oh, sure. Which one? Top floor. I and mean, now which parties. one? Am I supposed to partake in the test? Because you just started light energy. Okay. Let's pass it so you don't scare yourself. You reach check the chemistry lab. You let's have the class and we come back. You might do two to three exercises because you know you are playing a lot of in case we do only one exercise, like you're not going to complete the exercise. And our rates are very loud. Why do you laugh so much? Like, you're going to class, I'm supposed to have a calm mind to like go for your test. Um, it's just some small confusion. See, like, um, so everyone wants to get a seat. So oh, the chairs are not enough. Oh, they are enough. But some used to sit in front, some used to sit at the back. So, where'd you say? I don't want to be treated because I'm here, so they'll give me a front seat. I want to have when, my own. When thing. you wish to sit, you can okay. sit. Yeah, that's I'll finish love. It's quite okay. It's quite okay. I like your stews. This is actually wonderful. Are we not supposed to stand until the teacher says you're supposed to sit? Oh, yeah, supposed to sit. Without the teacher's knowledge. Yeah. He, he will do it as then we stand up and respond. Okay, um, you're welcome to my class. Thank you so much. Um, my name is Gideon Envy. Um, I teach physics here. What's your name? I'm Thelma Kote. Thelma? Yes, please. Okay, good. Um, we are on the topic of light. Yes. 
So we'll be I'll be continuing my lectures on light. Yes. Please. Hope you enjoy it. Yes, please. I will. Okay. That's good. Thank you so much. Welcome. So let's welcome her. With, with a shine, with a shine, with a shine. Fire. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Denser medium M1 to a less dense medium M2, it refracts away from the normal. Okay, so what does it Let's say we have. And it's the, I really had an amazing time. The physics lab was so, so beautiful. The learning was actually fun because the teacher was just making jokes alongside with the learning and everything. The class was lively. I liked the way everyone was laughing. Everyone was just like being herself, not caring that there's a vista in the school. But then honestly, I really enjoyed my, my stay here. So tell me, it's now time for dining. Let's go and eat. Okay. Are you happy to love out? What do you have this morning? Um, porridge. Rice porridge. You have porridge? Yeah, what kind of porridge? Um, it's Alza. I don't know. It might be Alza or maize porridge. If we use lunch box, yeah. Because why do you use lunch box? And then why is it like colorful? Because I know as in a school, you're supposed to use either black or brown to make a uniform. Why do you just use any color? Okay, we have a lunch bag in here. Yeah, I brought one. So we we'll go to the class, take your back and go All right. for. Good morning, Mom. Light be fast, otherwise they'll rise for the first grace. What? I'm saying light be fast, or they'll rise for the first grace. Oh. Don't have a table. How would I get a table? Um, actually, we sit randomly. Anywhere you want. Yeah. Well, you won't put on your nose mask. Is it okay if I don't wear it? Oh, sure. Oh, please. <laughs> Yeah, our maiden sits on the first row and the princess sits on the second row. Good morning. But for the table, you can sit anywhere that you want. Oh, so apart from the dining hall food, you guys like have a shop where you sell other yeah. stuff? Yes. We buy food from the tax shop. It's watching go I mean, you know, go Of course. Who does <laughs> I mean, it's and then my fried food. rice or jello fries. All here. Yeah. You sell it like. Some so. people are oh sure you sell it. Some people are trying don't want to take in the porridge or whatever it is, whether it's tea or let's move to the dining for it. Yeah. Oh. Um, let's I'll sit here. Yeah. You go there, let me sit here. Unless you sit there, she says he wants to snap. Mm. Now, when we are eating, we put on our napkin. Yeah, I know. But then we do it this way so that when you eat, the particles within fall on your lap because it doesn't fall directly here. But then force on your lap. So okay, you can do like that. Thank you. So, you so I have to pour it. Yeah, sure. Honestly, it's not really bad, but then it's fine. But then there's too much heat here, like too much heat. I'm literally suffocating. <laughs> Honestly, the place is so much hot. Like, I literally thought my dining hall was very small, but then ours is far bigger than this and better than that. Your food, actually, I would recommend it. It's not really bad. But then, compared to my, I'll still go for my because, I mean, home food is the best. So, right now, we're going for my next lesson, which is the second period. So, let's see how it goes. It doesn't reach 30. Your, your dining hall is literally less than 30. So what's this your time? My twin. Nine twenty-five. So five minutes most. Why do you ring the bell though? So that everyone can prepare moving to class. So by the time it's nine thirty then 
everyone is ready for a teacher. Do you understand? So, what time do you close? Four o'clock. Four? Yeah. Your school. What? I close at three thirty. Then what time do you go for dinner? Dinner. We go at five. Five. Just after school. No, Just that was like two. one hour thirty minutes after school. Okay. Whose book is this? It's yours. Who? Oh, okay. Then when she comes out, I'll give it to her. Because my school, literally every prefect, apart from the normal prefect, they always live with the people in the dormitories. But then five men, which is Dome, Akada, Protocol, Head Girl, and Administration, Head Girl, they sleep in their own cubicle, which is the five men cubicle. And house prefects, you have your own How many head girls do you have? Five. Five men. And all of them sleep in one room? Yes. It's a big room. It's literally just for them. Like, they have their couch, everything there. Wow. And then for the house prefects, my house, for instance, we have two cubicles. One for the main, one for the deputy. So, so you sleep alone? You sleep alone? Yeah, I sleep with my block supervisor. And then I chose, and you choose anyone you want. But I chose my compound prefect because she's in my house. And she needs to, like, have that respect. Okay. So I chose her. So she lives on me. So three upstairs, three downstairs. And then our house which is also in that same building. And about waking up and all the other stuff. You wake up at 4. 4, 45 to five you should leave the block if i see anyone i'll punish you i don't care <laughs> so your main head girl which color does she offer general science, science. You, you go for dying yeah i did yes. it was cerevia i know how you call it here but i was in our school it's called cerevia which is tom brown tom brown okay okay so i think this afternoon be beans and gary kobe kobe for sure i'll be expecting it i want to see if it's it's matches ours okay because ours is actually the best Kobe. Yeah. Okay. I don't joke really. Do you know mommy and Nima though? Oh yeah. Is yeah. she in your class? She's in Q3, but then she's in my house. She's clean. Hmm? I heard you see the way she's an extrovert, she's drumming and all those things. Oh yeah, she's very okay. very confident. She she likes talking a lot. Yeah. Very friendly. Okay. Oh, it's nice Are you a local girl? Pardon? Are you a local girl? Yes, yeah, Why? You're not a local girl? No, I'm from Tema. Okay, wow. Not bad. Would you like to ask me questions? I don't know, you told me something about yourself or about the school. Okay, so I'm um, AC in fact in here. I'm a science student, as you can see. I can dance. Oh, give me a freestyle. No, I'm sure. Hi, come on, give me a freestyle. Okay. okay. I can dance and okay, so I like talking a lot. I can not see. a lot. Yeah, okay. Is, is it bad? It's not bad. It's, 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 it's fine. Okay. Yeah. What do you aspire to be in future? Honestly, an entrepreneur and obviously a doctor. Many, many, many aspects. But then for now, probably choosing to be a doctor or an engineer. So seeing which course I'm better at, which is if I'm good at physics or I'm good at biology, which one I'm better at, I'll just go for whatever. Okay, course. so right now, what the subject, which one are you really good at? The physics, the biology, honestly, the all the math, which is the core math, e math, and then the physics. the physics. But then for biology, to be very honest, you know, I'm I'm trying to get there. I prefer biology to physics and chemistry. Oh hell oh, no, no, I don't no, like want to. Too much reading. I prefer solving. Why? Reading isn't your thing. No. It's okay, but then, you know, solving is more of like, the formulas are there. You just need to get the concept and then you just do whatever you're supposed to do. So, these few hours you spent here, how do you feel? Honestly, it's amazing. It's really amazing, but then... Are we meeting your expectations or...? You are. You are. And what are they that... What are the expectations that we've met? So Honestly, far. my my aim is actually to see how your culture works, and actually, I want to see how teachers teach and how you learn in class. What have you seen that is so different from our school comparing it to yours? What have you seen? Okay, first of all, I've seen your um physics lab, and it's actually spacious. I like the fun, and then the you know the atmosphere the most schools have it 
but I'll say you have one of the nice to this love. But in your dining hall, it's so small. I literally was suffocating. Like, it was so hot. I was literally sitting by the door, but then it was so hot. Like, I literally wow. couldn't even breathe well. Oh. But then your food was amazing. Oh, thank but then, you. Apart from the dining hall, so far, nothing else. Nothing else. So, how many friends have you made so far? How many? Um, apart from Sam, the head girl. Okay. And Loveta. Oh. Which one? Loveta. Um, Lovelands. Oh, sorry. I'm taking it again. 10 grams of a substance Y dissolved in 1000 centimeters cube of water in the presence of excess solutes at 29 degrees. If the molar mass of Y is 40 gram per mole, if the molar mass of Y is 40 gram per mole, calculate the solubility of Y at 29 degrees in mole dm cube. Yeah, the temperature condition is very, very, very important. So if you define the type of solution without adding the, the temperature condition is wrong. So take note of that. It will be equal to 30. Positive or negative? Positive. I have been in four classes so far and based on how the teacher teaches um, relating to my school I would say my teachers are actually great at explaining things because they use practical examples to actually teach you but then I would say the teachers here so far have, have been really good especially the physics teacher and the coal math teacher. The chemistry teacher had just done a revision of uh, what they had already done, but then it was fine. And most of the subjects they are teaching, I haven't really gotten there yet, so I was trying to catch up with them, but so far everything is really going on well. I will say teachers are supposed to use practical examples to make the students actually understand what they are teaching and also make the class lively, because sometimes just explaining what is in the book doesn't really help. It makes students sleepy. You would have okay, to so why do you have five head girls? Why do you have five head yes. girls? It's not necessarily the school. Like it's, it's based on administration. We yes. have academic head girl. We have protocol head girl. Oh, I we see. have domestic protocol. head girl. I think as we don't have protocol. Why so, do you use lunch bag? Why do we use lunch bag? Because we can't come for dining by putting our things in a collecting bag or anything. Actually, it's a girls' school, so we have to put in a lunch bag. But then, isn't the basic color for something in the school black or brown? Why do people have different colors? Different colors. With a lunch bag, you can bring any color. But then, what what do you think about uniformity? Because you be going out, and then people are having pink, people are having black, people are having other things. I mean, you know, uniformity also makes the school look nicer. You know. So why do you also have that color? So at school we have batches and then I'm a move check, which okay. is form three is right now. We're going to form three our move check. The ones who left are outgoing yellow. But the ones which are the form ones are red. So based on your batch colour, you get a dinner bag based on your batch colour. This is my batch colour, which is mauve. And then the red checks have their red and the yellow have their yellow. So it's based on your badge. So even if you're wearing uniform, since we all wear the same uniform, you use your lunch bag or let me say your dinner bag to actually differentiate from the others, which is, yeah, which is, which is, even if you don't even hold your dinner bag, based on our badge, you see mauve all around it, right? Oh, I see. The red have red around okay. it. Okay. But my school, when, when we came, they didn't tell us that. We should have a specific card bag. They just said card bag. So any card bag is a card bag. Oh. Yes. So do you still feel hot? Yeah, it's still hot. <laughs> like the moment I entered. Okay, when, see when, the, when they are done with the new dining hall, come on, Vesa, you see the difference. But then I want to ask you something. Is, is dining, is like lunch, right? Yes. Why do I see people roaming around? Okay, uh, I think. They don't like their beans. Most people here, they don't like the beans. So they are going. To I don't them. see any reason for them to stand outside and not come inside the dining hall because they are not my just school, standing there. They are going to buy food. My school, if you don't eat you. or you eat, you come inside. When they are done, then you go to wherever the tax show to buy whatever you want. 
you don't just roam around. Do you know something? After here, they'll be punished. They'll be punished? Yes. Well, I feel like punishment is not the only reason you give them. Sometimes the way you treat them will actually let them follow the rules and regulations. Punishment actually doesn't move nothing. Okay. Like, you will definitely punish me, but I'll still repeat the same thing. Do you get it? Sometimes it's about you making them follow their rules, not about punishment. Punishment doesn't do nothing. Yes, it deters people, but then actually, if you actually force them to come, you have dining hall perfect. Yes. How many? Three. And then you are telling me this three cannot control the whole school to come for dining. Because our school, our madam, which is the senior house mistress, Madam Jamila, she doesn't do for dining. If you eat or not, you would have to come to the dining hall. Compose you, no matter what. Perfect. Whoever you are, you have to come. Because okay. I don't see the reason why you will be a dining. If you don't want to eat or you want to eat, you will be roaming around. That's so disrespectful because you know the rules and the regulations. Okay, so your school, do day students also go for dining? Exception of day students. Okay, so I think they're day students. So you're telling me all these like populations are day students? Yes. It's about like 20% of your population. They're all day students, trust me. Amen. No, I'm chill. No. Yeah. So, send your place there. HRL Thelma. Send your place there. Where? Yeah. actually okay it was fine you can actually eat and everything but then i was just wondering why students would just leave that table uh, not cleared and just leave it for people's parents to come and clean for you you should know after you finish eating you clear the side you eat even if you won't clear the whole thing clear your side but then what i saw from inside there everyone just left their table just like that with the vice device the vice like the vice on the table without cleaning it and it just left like that but apart from that i feel like that dining is very okay we clean our own tables we don't expect someone to clean it for us that's why we have a table till and a table head the table head brings the food in and the table till cleans the table after we finish eating so initially when i got here they put on a bib but then in my school we put the napkins on our laps and i i questioned the, my, one of my friends i met here why they do that and she said because of the food and she asked me the same question and I told her that if you eat, it falls directly vertically downwards. It doesn't it doesn't fall horizontally. So I don't see the reason why I'll put it less something from them, they learn something from me. Yeah. So her royal majesty said I should come and look for her. Good afternoon, ladies. Hi. So let's look for you. I found you. Finally. Yeah. So we are ready for the tour. All right, ready. All right. So. All right. Let's go. Now I, I know you know the school enough so you can show me. Yeah, a little. A little, but then sure. How has your day been? Very interesting, I must say. Mm -hmm. I find the students cool, the teachers are very cool. Okay. Hall, very cool. That's what always have been only cash room and dining hall. Oh, okay. Okay. Who has been your favorite teacher so far? Um, Segedion. Segedion. I think he's a physics teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's the one. I see. And then Miss Ashen. Miss Ashen. English teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Okay, so I can see teachers and students freezing for you. Why are they freezing for you? It's a culture in the school. When you see the head girl, you must freeze, no matter your position. Yeah, and no, it's an exception for prefects. Prefects can walk past and, you know, exchange pleasantries with me. But as a student of a Hunterman Girls, you see me and you have to freeze. Now, ooh, your respect level is very high. I tell you. Ooh, I, I tell can you. see. Yes, so this is Mr. Emmanuel Chrissy Aiden, founder of a Hunterman Girls. No, yes, founder of a Hunterman Girls here yeah. in high school. Uh, the name has undergone transmogrification. Yeah. And it's now a Hunterman Girls Senior yeah. High School. It's a long history. Yeah. I would have to school you on that another time. Oh, yeah. I'll be so there's There's the brain it. behind a Hunterman Girls Senior High School today. But it was a mixed school. It first. was a mixed school. I said it has gone metamorphosis yeah. in science, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm right with that. It has undergone transmogrification. So we see the school now has a Hunterman Girls. With girls only and male teachers. Oh, yes. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. Okay. So this is the road down. Yeah. Out of school. So where is your assembly for? In yeah, we are going. Oh. We are going to the science lab. You let's go. Yeah. And let's go. There. Wh which of them did you go to? The third floor. Third floor. Yeah. Second floor, you mean? I mean, second floor. Okay. The foundation on which every Ahantman girl stands on and becomes an outstanding student of unique content of character. So you can see the first core value there, obedience and reverence to God. You know, we take God as a very important person in our life, love for one another. I, I know you have felt too much love today. Yeah, I have. Exactly. So that's one core value. And we uphold our integrity with our lives. Yes, if it is right, it is right. If it is wrong, exactly, it is wrong. So when I came, your headmistress said something about hero of light. Why should you call this place a hero of light? Um, we believe that as ladies, we are supposed to shine bright to illuminate the illuminate the path of progress. Okay, so this is the hill where we are imbued with light. We go out and we are shining. The whole world knows a handsome girl's hill of light. Light is revealed to us. So even if you are coming and you are in darkness, you get here and you know you see light. You see light and the light is imbued into you. Yes. So tell me, how was your perfect your perfect process like your how did everything go on well? How did you become oh. this person from a normal student to become this person? Okay, okay. I believe the school first of all trained me to be who I am before I even went for the position. I've explained my core values yeah, to you. you have. I I upheld it with all diligence. And there is something in my school about um, prefectorial positions. We don't have any elections. It's strictly by appointment. I know yours is by yeah. elections. Election. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's um, specially and specifically done based on appointment. Okay. So went through vetting with the vetting committee. Prefect, you should have a specific position to be qualified to even go and get a form because if you are getting a form and you know your position on the notice board is not is not that good <laughs> your confidence level is so low even working to get your forms yeah definitely you understand yeah the headmistress that's the final say yeah she has a final say and we do our investiture so that's straight to work that's what perfection is all about Straight to work. So I, I told you I want to show you my favorite place. Yeah. As you can see, there is class ongoing. Yeah, that's a biology class. I'm not a biology student, but I know. <laughs> yeah. You're a geography student. No. What? Literature, French, economics. Oh, I government. See. You're not at head in the school now. Yes. My school is science head. Oh, well, I can't say anything about science. It doesn't really matter about your course, but in, in the years of professorship, it's been science students, but then last year was general art. So okay. this year, we science had to take over the school again. I, I believe in mindset too. Yeah. If you have a clear mindset, you can definitely. move. It's not about the course, it's about yeah, the mindset. Definitely. After all, I can learn something from science, apply it. I can learn You something. do learn science, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I can learn, apply, 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 and leadership becomes very fun. I love this place. 
Where? So, so yeah. like this place because of the trees. So serene. So you like stay here? Like no, sometimes we I just just, walk, just walking by, you know, gives me peace of mind. Especially when there is no one around. And my favorite part, yes. You know how serene the environment is affect our leadership mm -hmm. in the school a lot. Yeah, definitely. because if you have your peace of mind, I tell you, you can rule the ultimate best. So the road leading to the head and stresses out. So I love it when the um, nature that is the environment. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because see, it's so beautiful. Is it? Yes, you see when it's when you sweep in the morning, okay, mm -hmm. the place is so clear, but you don't expect that this place will look this way till evening. Yeah. Nature has to do its work and it's doing this shows that nature is indeed working and oh, okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. Understand. You get it now. Yeah, yeah, I do. The roots. That's why I love this place. I love this place. And we'll take a picture here definitely. Yeah, we will. Yeah. 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 Let's stand for the car. So how is Leadership in Portis, Archbishop Portis. How is leadership in the school? I mean, depending on mostly, it depends on the students. Okay. How they make it easier or difficult for you to lead. Most of all, it depends on how the outgoings left our juniors. Really? Yes. Okay. Because if you leave them in a way that do actually not listen to anything you say. It will be very difficult to get them right on track. So let me get this right. Is it possible that, that a leader can come and change the face of all these? Or it should be that the outgoing should do all the work no. for the other to As come a leader, and enjoy? You have an aim of what you want to achieve. Okay. So you change the face of the school. Mm -hmm. you are portray you are just, you're just not being a leader in the school, but you're portraying it outside the school. Because I believe charity begins at home. Uh -huh. And when we come to school, the school is our home. Okay. So if you train them properly, if we go outside, they will take the name of Archbishop Porter Girls to a very high. What I want to understand is you said it depends on how well the outgoing, outgoing yeah. leaves the juniors, yeah. to, so to say. Yeah. So it means if the outgoing leaves the juniors in jeopardy, yeah. leaves them in, as in disciplined people yeah it becomes a herculean task for the if they are actually disciplined um, it will be very now. easier because you just tell them to do this and they do that but then if you if they leave them in such a way that they're very indisciplined it will be mm -hmm. very difficult to actually bring them to a level you would want to oh, okay so did you go for any prefectorial position yeah i'm a house prefect your house prefect yeah. oh i see your house Stelling in doom house Seeing how beautiful you are, I know your house is very, very oh, clean. I wouldn't, even, very I wouldn't clean. even lie to you. It's one of the best houses in Archbishop Porter Girls with I the see. nicest washroom, the mm -hmm. nicest house mistress, mm -hmm. everything. I'm not even going to lie. But then my house is just a block on its own. That shows how special we are. I with see. a unique color. Oh, what color? Burgundy. I see. See, yeah. That's very nice. I can't wait to be in Portis myself. You would have to. And when come I come, money. definitely you are going to show me around. I would I have, have to. I would have to. Okay. Gladly. Okay. What has been your worst moment today, though? Today? Mm hmm. Mm, I would probably say the dining food. Really? Honestly, are you sure? Honestly. I just... believe. You know what, what I want to tell you now? Nah. You were told this morning that you were a royal lady. Yeah. But your taste buds eh, are still related to Portis. Oh, no. Because how can you say... Honestly, okay. like, your food in the morning was very fine. But in the afternoon... Okay. I don't know. Like, it wasn't something that I would want to eat again. Really? But then I love your food. It's very okay. Ironical. Yeah. You're being ironical. No. Just go I'm, I'm, straight I'm, I'm, to the I'm serious. Point. It's the nail on the head. No, actually. You said you love the food. <laughs> Later, you are telling me. No, I'm me. saying, like, you see, your food came in different forms. In the morning, I ate something different from the afternoon. Okay. So, definitely. The morning one was very fine. Like, I wouldn't even like to eat. I like the cereal you guys eat. You guys call it Tom Brown. Okay. I really like this. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even like to eat. Without the milk, the sugar was fine. Everything. Okay. For a student to just give you the the mind to just focus on what you're coming to do the, for the day okay yeah so you didn't enjoy the meal in the yeah, afternoon. afternoon yeah what food was that rice and then i don't know if it's palm nut or it's brown nut because it's thick 
Okay. I couldn't even dis I couldn't even differentiate. I see. And it was fine. I see. Yeah. I see. Your taste buds haven't changed. It's still I'm a royal. Thing. What do you mean? I'm a royal. So that's still in this. I'm sure the taste buds are remembering this oh. in the house. This uniform. I'm sure oh, the please. taste buds are looking forward to going back to school. Oh no. All right. What's the name of your head girl? Pamela Bugadam. What title? How is she addressed? Nothing. Just really? Yeah. Oh my uh, god. Yeah, honestly, she's Pamela Bugadam. Is Miss Pamela Bugadam? Miss. Yeah. Everyone is a miss in the school. Yes, but then you, as as we in Kali school, we say sister. So as sister, we call her the the senior sister. So everyone, we don't have a particular name for perfect or something. Ouch, that's all I can see. It's our prefects that are respected, held in high yes, esteem very. in your school. Yeah, we yeah. don't joke at all. I see. So, classrooms? Yes, form ones. Form one? Yeah. Lot. Yes. So, some form ones here, some form ones. At, what, do you, yeah. what do you think about them? Are they making your, your vein of perfection very easy or not very at all. Not You dare not. That's the thing about being a form one. You dare not. No. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Because it's like you're just a year older than them in school. It's not like they're in form one and you're in form Funny two. enough, you can someone can be a year older than you. But it's yeah. not about age. It's about the way you carry yourself. I can tell you that a head prefect can carry herself any way and people respect her anyhow. Yeah. You get it. Yeah, but the definitely. way you carry yourself also adds, adds up to the position. So it's not about age. It's about how you carry yourself right. as an individual. All right. Yeah, because of the program in the assembly hall, yeah. classes are not really in session. You want to go out first? No, it's fine. Alright. Yeah. So, I guess I've seen most parts of your school. Yes. I say it's very beautiful. You have friends here? Just a little. No, like do like friends I knew before coming yeah. here. Yeah. Nah. Oh, okay. I see. I see. And you have made friends today, right? Yeah, I did. Sure. Yeah, just a few. I see. You know, a friend to all is a friend to none. So yeah. Just a few. It's quite laudable. Yeah. So, not actually something about your dining hall. You know, after you finish eating, okay. do you clear the tables like by yourself? No. Why? <laughs> That's why people have been assigned to do that work. Now, Which are this students? This the HOD of the Social Science Department here, Divine Dikra. Hello. Good, good afternoon, sir. You're also welcome to our Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. All right, let's go. Yes. What was I saying? Yeah. People have been assigned to do that work. Yes, yeah, but sometimes some, some people, some students voluntarily do it. Do you think this is something you have to assign someone to do? I mean, your own neatness. Let me, let me explain that yeah, to you. Please do. Um, we close, sorry, we end dining at 9.20, from 9 o'clock to 9.20. And classes start exactly 9.20. So what time do you have to clean the table? No. And besides, listen, <laughs> okay, listen, okay. classes are equally important, okay? Everyone has a role to play in the school. Yeah. When it's your time to play your role, no one has to call you. We have employed some hands to help us here. But sometimes, when we have the opportunity, we voluntarily Wait. help. So are you trying to tell me within the 20 minutes, if you, ha you have to work to class within 5 minutes, you can't use just 30 seconds to clean the table. This is not, I, I, this is know, not debatable at all. What I'm if trying to say, say now is, like, what I'm trying to say now is, you are not supposed to eat it spill it on the table right definitely but then exactly. you know it, it's not you you do take the food from the pantry bowl and put it in your plate yeah ladies yes yeah ladies enough we don't pour it on the table oh yes do, do you want me to give you an example of what i saw today okay give an example i literally saw particles of rice on the table and everyone left after it was dining that's what it's just 30 seconds can help us you know you know sometimes it's not about what people would do for you but it's about how you are trained okay. because you can't tell me if if you go outside somewhere and then you go to someone's home you tell me that because the person has a maid or something you will let the maid clean like clear, clear no, the let, me, let me explain something okay you pay the maid to work right 
Yes, but then but sometimes hello, it's not about. I'm not done. It's not about. I'm not done. I left you to talk. Okay, sure. You pay a mate to work. Am I right? Yeah. You pay a mate to work. It is my right to choose if I help the maid or not. It doesn't mean I haven't been trained if I don't help the maid. Definitely. The maid is being paid. Definitely. If I have other assignments to undertake, I can't say I'm going to leave all that and help the maid. But then you're trying to tell me that. No. I, isn't, isn't it, well, I want to ask you a question. Okay. Isn't it people's spirits who claim the table for you? And isn't the punchy men who do that? They are paid. Isn't they it paid. people's spirits who teach you? Okay, so let me ask you something. <laughs> okay. Just because they pay our yes. punchy men in my school doesn't give me the audacity to leave rice particles on the table. Very, very disrespectful. I wouldn't even lie to you at all. Like, it doesn't matter if they pay someone. Sometimes it's about how you 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 portray yourself outside because you can't tell me that if i is and let's say my daddy is a punchy man even though they pay him you don't expect him to come and claim for you after you have finished eating he brings the food inside and takes it outside you expect him to clean the table can i talk now yes yeah, talk okay so what i'm trying to say is we voluntarily help when we don't have teachers in our class but academic work is equally as important as cleaning the pantry sorry the tables in the dining Wait. hall so finally school hours are over yeah. okay and it's time for supper i don't know if you want to join them in the dining hall and wait till they are done you sit and watch a table clean in collaboration with the pantry man are you ready to do that i don't mind but then i would have to get back to school i see so finally, school is over, and this is time for dining. This arena is for um, supper. Okay. Thank you very much for coming to our Huntsman Girls Senior High School. We have really enjoyed your presence. You know, seeing a different color gives the school a little spark. Yeah, okay. definitely. And I have really enjoyed seeing such a beautiful lady today in a Huntsman Girls Senior High School, yeah. learning some cultures and on learning certain things. Probably she thought was right. And I hope to see you sometime soon. Very soon. Thank you for having me here. I really appreciate your warm welcome. I would love to come here very soon. All right. Thank you very much.